Most part, the roads are clear today, but a lot of cars are covered with snow and ice, creating a potential danger at 60 miles an hour. And police are out reminding people to clear that snow. And in some cases, they're handing out fines and citations, too. WBZ's David Roby Show is live in Natick with our story. Roby? Lisa, you probably saw it on your morning commute. Chances are you'll see it on your ride home as well. Cars with snow and ice piled up on the roof. Sometimes it can be a nuisance, but police want you to know it's dangerous and could be against the law. When Framingham police pulled this minivan over for having a not so many amount of snow on the roof, this is what the officer said she gave as an excuse for not clearing it off. She didn't know that her husband didn't clear it from the roof of the car. Right? I don't know how you get in the car without seeing that. The day after the blizzard, they're not looking for excuses. They're looking for drivers who are putting others in danger. The reason I flagged you over here is because all the snow on your roof. We spent about an hour with the Framingham police, and in that time, they pulled over four violators. Officer Burrell made all the drivers clear the snow off the roof right in front of him to ensure they didn't drive away like that. Each operator was only given a warning, but they could have been hit with a fine because they are breaking the law. It is a violation of Massachusetts traffic laws to have snow on the roof of your car. We're not talking about a little dusting that blows off, but, you know, large amounts of snow and, and ice on the roof of your car is, in fact, a violation of state law. Why is it so dangerous? So lucky. These are photographs of Joel Idelson's car. After the last storm, a giant chunk of ice flew off a tractor trailer and threw his windshield. We go on a Route 9 and probably going about 50, 60 miles an hour. The last thing I, I know is it, it's white in front of me and glass in my teeth. I mean, it was a huge crash. Had no idea what it was at first. On his drive to Boston today, Joel saw a lot of cars like this. I don't think people realize what's involved and how dangerous it can be. As for those people who say their vehicles are too high, well, the police say it might be a, not be a bad idea to carry a broom with you, step inside the door of your car, and push it off with a broom if that's what you have to do to make sure you're not breaking the law. Live in Natick, I'm David Robichaud, WBZ News. Well, we thank you the way